All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Gym Life Vlog. We're going to be hitting legs, and today's conversation is going to be about taking the easy way out. I chose taking the easy way out because, honestly, I wasn't feeling it today. No one's ever feeling it on leg day. Leg day is when all the excuses come out. That's when everyone's got everything ex else to do except hit fucking legs. So we're going to start off with this leg extension machine just to kind of get the blood flow going, loosen the legs up. I'm going to force myself to go pretty heavy today, whatever he heavy is. So I know the last leg day that we recorded, um, I started off hitting isolates and then I finished the workout with compounds. Um, today we're actually going to do what everyone else does and we're going to start off with some heavy squats, go to some leg press, and then isolate our way down from there. <sighs> Alright, so I'm doing these until I feel like my legs have warmed up enough. I'm not doing four sets of 12 or anything like that. I'm also not trying to burn my legs out before I even start the workout. One of the reasons I feel like people are so accustomed to taking the easy way out is because of instant gratification. I mean, instant gratification is at our fingertips in everything we do, from social media to um, acquiring knowledge to fast money. And then when it's time to do something that you can't find the shortcut to, then you know, you just quit or you never start. When in reality, that instant gratification and trying to find the fast way to everything is really robbing you of a lot of personal skills, a lot of self-development, just a lot of characteristics that you're gonna need later on. I mean, you can't buy that. I think the reason why I lost motivation to do legs today was because I waited too long to do the workout. You ever had that moment where you're like fired up and you're like ready to work out? And if you don't get the workout in right then and there, then you kind of lose the urge to work out. That's kind of where I'm at. So I was busy replying to emails, um, texting clients back, and posting content. All right, guys, so we're going 12, 10, 8, 6. We're going to go four sets. We're going to increase the weight as we, again, really focus on depth, getting as deep as possible, but also controlling the weight, more importantly. <sighs> And honestly, that's one of the things that I love about the gym. Because you can't buy that. Like you can buy fake boobs, you can buy a BBL, um, you can inherit money. You can't buy that body. You can't buy it, you gotta work for that. And even for the people who do steroids, they still have to work for that. Like there, there ain't no shortcuts. And even those who improperly use those are gonna pay the consequences for those later. I mean, anything that goes up fast is gonna come down fast. So stop trying to skip the grind. Stop trying to skip the hustle, bro. Like, like bro, you're neglecting the most important thing. That's your self-development. And in the hard times, in those hard times is where you're going to evolve. If you don't have hard times, or if you chicken out every time you have a hard time, you're missing a very vital self-development trait by chickening out every time it gets hard. Or like a lot of people make a habit of running when the times get hard. Like people are too busy changing their goals when in reality they need to look in the mirror and change themselves. Like it's, it's you, you're the problem. We're the problem, you know? Look in the mirror, you're not happy with the person you are, then change something. It's like leg day. <laughs> Nobody don't wanna do leg day. Ah, we got 10 reps right here. Seven, easy day. Hey. Easy day. You're gonna skip the hardest day of the week. You're gonna, hit the, you're gonna skip the hardest workout of the week. Like you realize hitting legs actually increases your natural testosterone. So you not hitting your legs is doing more damage than it is good. So that was actually supposed to be 10 reps. So we're gonna do eight reps right here. I was just too fired up. Like we gotta stop getting so caught up in that instant gratification stuff. I gotta have it now, I gotta have it now. I've been lost in it. Like that's when my journey really started to change. That's when things really started happening for me. Whenever I started, whenever I made the agreement to myself to have delayed gratification. You know, I stopped playing the game. I stopped 
doing this. I stopped doing the things that, that put me in a headspace. Like social media? Oh, I'm hardly ever on social media. I'm putting wisdom, I'm putting knowledge out there for you guys, and then I'm off. Like, like seeing all these get rich quick schemes, seeing people have this, seeing people blow up, like all of that just really taints your journey. I mean, it forces you to, like seeing all of that forces you to look internally and blame yourself or question your journey or question the process. And then next thing you know, you're jumping ship to go do this or to go do that, when in reality, if you just keep doing what you're doing, stay in your lane, focus on your craft, and then things will start to happen for you. And then things will start to happen for you. Believe it or not, I was just like a lot of you guys. Like when I got out of the Marines, um, I had all types of issues. I could barely walk. My back was jacked up. Um, I had to get surgery. Like just so many things was going wrong with me. And that put me in a really dark place mentally. Like I remember having chicken legs and my friends would make jokes about my chicken legs and I would just laugh it off like it, you know, it was no big deal or whatever. But deep down, like it was, like deep down it was really hurting me. Like it really took, a, took an impact on me. Like I just gave up on my legs altogether. I started wearing jeans everywhere. I started wearing jeans and joggers everywhere. You'd never see my legs. Like my legs had damn near went pale because they hadn't seen any sun. So take that first step, bro. Go in the gym, hit some legs. You don't even have to jump into the squat bar. I remember my first day doing legs in two years. Bro, I did like five lunges and I was tapped out. So um, it's a process. Remember, you gotta crawl before you walk in. Remember, the gym is not a get a go trophy and you're done. It's a lifelong journey of consistently showing up and fighting the urge to quit every time that you step foot in here. Like, ah, shit. Uh oh, you're good, brother. You could have went through, dude. No, that's okay, man. Okay. <laughs> my, views, my views would have went up. What's up? My views would have went up if you went through it. Ah. Mm. I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna take for things in your life to change. Things are gonna change when you decide to stop neglecting your self-development and stop prioritizing all of these external things that don't matter. Remember, money, cars, clothes, jewelry, all of that is inevitable whenever you take the time to invest and improve yourself as a person. Like, all of that's gonna come. The day that I started prioritizing my self-development is the day that I really started seeing my worth, the day that I started validating myself, the day that I decided to cut off people who didn't promote me being the best version of myself possible. We're focused on here. This is where we're going. We're going here, all right? So anyone who is outside of that gate, I'm, it's irrelevant to me. Anyone who's on the outside of that gate is irrelevant. I'm here and anyone who's here with me, we can go there as a collective unit. And it's because I respect myself and I respect and want to surround myself with people who are invested with being the best version of themselves. All right guys, so we're supposed to have leg press, but you know I'm in a, a private gym, and um, bro, like the amount of leg machines in here are just like mind blowing. Um, I've never even seen a lot of this equipment in here. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm sure I've seen this in like 24 hour fitness. It's like a leg press, but it's something that like almost rolls with your hamstring. All right, here we go. Two, I like that, that feels good. Two, three. It doesn't matter what machine we use, we always try to be as controlled as possible. We don't want to be slamming the weights around because all that slamming the weight, all that slamming the weight around is just putting bad tension and bad pressure on your joints. Whereas a slow controlled movement is increasing muscle growth. I knew that I was dangerous from the day I was born. Like I always tried to surround myself with the baddest people. I don't know why. All right, I was just a troubled kid at the time, but I cleaned my act up as I got older. I was, I was always around the worst kids, always getting in trouble, um, always doing something I shouldn't have been doing. Um, I ended up going to the Marine Corps. Like, there was no way I was going to the Army. Shout out to anyone who's in the Army or the Air Force. Shout out to you guys. But, you know, with the Marines name, the branding, there was no way that I could go to anything except Marines or Navy SEAL. I mean, I consider Navy SEALs, but um, I'm not uh, the best swimmer. So um, I didn't go that route. 
From that point on, I just fell in love with putting myself in the most uncomfortable position possible. Like fear ain't gotta find me because I'm looking for it. Like I became obsessed with putting myself in the most uncomfortable, the toughest situations to consistently challenge myself. Complacency is the silent killer of success. Okay, so the minute that you feel complacent, you need to recalibrate the people you're associating yourself with, the things that you're spending your time doing, and you need to put yourself in a position where, you know, it's do or die. You know, it's either 100% profit or it's 100% loss. You know, there, there's no in-between. And that's, and that's when things change for me, bro. That's when things change for me, when I stop giving a fuck. I'm not supposed to be here, but I am, you know? Like my foster parents, like my foster parents and my teachers, coaches, they would always tell me, you know, you're gonna be dead or in jail before you're 12 years old. And, you know, I took that personal. You know, I just took that personal and I still take it personal. And to this day, you know, there's been times where I've tried to eat lunch with people or, um, you know, be associated with certain people and, you know, I get the cold shoulder, but that's okay. Uh, I use that as fuel and Trust and believe, it's feeding the fire. So um, take, those, take those rejections, take those losses, those failures, take them personal, because that's what's gonna feed you and fuel you. It's really important that you guys know that I'm not a bodybuilder, okay? I have competed, um, I did men's physique, um, I did two shows, I did a national show, um, I won my first show, and um, I lost the Nationals. Never went back, it just wasn't, wasn't my world. I would say I'm more focused on the financial side of life than the physical side of life. Now that doesn't mean that I neglect my physical health, but it just means that, hey, there's certain things that I prioritize over other things. And that's why it's very important to know who you are and know what your purpose and your mission is. Because if you're prioritizing the wrong things, then you're just, you're all over the place. <sighs> Damn, that shit hurts. Uh, uh, do the things you hate the most, but do it like you love it. I absolutely hate lunges. I don't know if it's from my knee injuries, from my ankle injuries, or maybe the motherfucker just hurt like a bitch. Ah. But I do these every single day. Ah. 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 All right, y'all, so it's been real, it's been fun, but the legs are done, all right? If you guys don't take anything else from this video, please take this, all right? The next time leg day comes up, and you don't feel like going, an excuse comes up, something happens, you don't feel like it, you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I gotta go to legs. I wanna offer you a different perspective. Look at it like I get to do legs, okay? Because there's someone in this world who doesn't have their legs, who can't feel their legs, and forgot what it feels like to have legs. They would probably give their life to be able to use your legs. So consider that the next time you come up with some BS excuse to not hit legs. All right, now if you guys appreciate this content, like, comment, subscribe, keep feeding me, keep supporting me because it inspires me to keep pushing content out for you guys. Believe it or not, and I'm not saying this in any way, no one forces me to do content. Believe it or not, me making content during my session takes away from my session. So um, I'm giving it y'all, it'd be kind to give back to me. Um, until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.